did it. I want to tell you guys how I was graced with the opportunity to cover an event for TEDx official. You're either in two camps. Is it that you know about TEDx or you have nothing, no idea about what TEDx is? And comfort, I was actually in the latter. I had no idea what TEDx was prior to when I got reached out or when they reached out to me to call the event. Actually, they actually reached really, really, really out to me directly. It was one of my friends, one of my guys, short plug, that guy, um, Alexis, same name, weird, I know, whatever. He has this kind of broad span, all this event, talk shows, actually the ambassador of I4G in our school, former school, right? <laughs> whatever. But basically, he they reached out to him and there was a team, like TEDx organizers, and they reached out to him and said, like, okay, we need someone to cover the event. I'm like, said, okay, no, I'm a guy. And they recommended me. And they reached out to me and like, oh, sure, don't ask me how much they pay me because I don't know what to tell you. But basically, um, they reached out to me and I was like stoked. I actually did my research then and then about what TEDx was, what they do, everything they do. And I was really impressed. I was actually like, wow, like, because that's actually something that I'm into. And I, I agreed to take the job. And it was a big eye opener for me because I didn't really understand a lot of things there. Unfortunately, I don't have any behind the scenes to show you of my side. I basically have like clips I did trying to do the event, but I knew. I couldn't do it alone. But most, I think, like most people, most creators, especially in um, like uh, my space, we tend to like do, do things, try to do, do do things alone sometimes, and like it limits us. Like something you could have made that would have been maybe it's this good by ourselves, but it could have been this good if you call somebody else and you feel like, oh, don't worry, they'll charge me, or like I don't really like to work with people. I, I was like that for a long time, but I said to work with someone for two, and it was actually a big eye opener for me, and like. I don't tell you guys about my experience because it was it was pretty intense. So actually, it was actually a big eye opener for me because I was quite prepared and I was also under prepared because like, I didn't really have enough equipment. So I actually had to work with somebody and it was actually very nice. It was cool. The event was quite well organized. They basically had their own seat number. My job there was just to set up my cameras, like what I'm doing. Get it in and go. Well, one thing that I did make a mistake, which what I want to give you guys is the experience that I know that most guys can forget when doing events or shooting videos for people or for, even for yourself. Audio. I literally forgot that I would need to get good audio from that thing. So that's just like Jimmy rig everything and like put everything on the mic. I trust the mic that I got to like get audio. It was not enough. So I thought of something. Just came to my head, boom, and it worked. I used like my lapel mics. I couldn't, I couldn't strap this to each of the speakers, right? I'll be very weird, and, and it's wired. It's not like it's wireless. Yes, yeah, can just target on each one of them. But I actually had to keep this in a very weird place by the actual speaker, which I put in the sound. I like plug it to my phone to record audio and put it on the speaker so that it's going to get crisper audio that way because like just leaving the audio blank was not an option at all that's how i got the audio it was not perfect but like it was the best i could do without getting the audio normally what you would actually do is that you if you have a wireless mic system you get wireless mic and put on each um speaker as they're coming on to speak or if you don't have that maybe you can find a way to like stream audio from the, directly from the sound system directly into a recorder or a card that will like record audio but if that was not possible if that wasn't possible like that's what you can, you, you, you can also do that kind of method i did it did work it, it did work now you might ask where are these videos actually i can't show you everything but i can just maybe show you guys clips on everything but because the videos have to go up on naturally they're supposed to go up on telex's website no website we do channel which is like the main channel they have only one channel the main one which every single footage goes there and like there's a long process it's not me that will do that right it's them they have i've have, have given them all the videos they want to find how they're going to get there's actually a long process you send it to so and so to verify check the quality check everything and before the blah blah blah, blah you know i was before it, it naturally be uploaded up on the youtube channel Actually, 
edit to Alex here and the videos are actually on Texas website. I didn't actually check. Thumb thumb of me. I'll send the link. I'll send the link. The links are in the description below to the videos that I shot. So they hop on the channel. <laughs> I actually did enjoy shooting at thing like it was for what we had for what I had for what we had to shoot with that time. It was actually very good. I mean I used T7 and the 200, I think, T200 250T. So it was good and I enjoyed it. You know, the audio was good, the quality was okay. I mean, the lighting was not perfect. I would have loved it to be like a, but it is what it is. So basically, this is just an advice to like most people who are starting out to like do those kind of video work. If you're doing a video, because like one of the camera batteries died because he, the guy had only one battery. It's not his fault. Yeah, he had only one battery. But if you're doing any kind of video work, right you have a camera whether you're doing vlogs vlogs for a youtube channel or whatever you're doing get at least two batteries i mean i have three get at least two batteries so that you know that okay if this one dies, i don't have to stop my recording that's the best way to do any kind of video get two batteries like imagine like imagine and add, imagine like having one camera die through an event which like you need multiple angles i'll use one angle for like quite a long time so when that camera died they had to like plug it in and had to, like use one angle throughout straight was well, not the best but it worked that's the point you can do it you can do anything you want i did it i got paid everything basically the quality if you like my advice to guys that are doing any kind of video work that starts out or people that are actually in it like me if you're doing any kind of video work for anything for anything entirely you research on what you're going to do, how you're going to film that um, um, event, what the event is going to entail. You talk to the person you're doing it for, like how does he want it to be, how does she want this to be, so that you will know the best way to get what you want to do. And just take away these, these three things. One, do your research, ask questions on how you're going to shoot that video and plan how you're going to shoot that video and get extra hands if you need extra hands. You can't do it, everything can be done on your own. Basically, that was my experience with shooting for TEDx Tech Official. With that being said, um, I'm still I, I still remain Alexi Day. You're watching Dynamic Range, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, share this video, and comment this in the comment section. And most of you that are watching my videos are not subscribed, so please just like hit that button. It's not hard. Just like hit it. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one.